I think it's up to individual. You can practice in any language, it doesn't matter. As long as it's a good translation. It translation has to be a good one. You know, fairly accurate. Right? Ninety-nine percent correct. Right? We cannot get hundred percent. Not possible. Ninety-nine percent correct. So if you have a good translation, then you can recite and practice in any language, right? Uh, when the Dharma, original Buddha's teaching, came from India to Tibet, they translated everything into Tibetan, right? They're reciting in Tibetan. So if you recite in Tibetan phonetic, all the like pujas, so to speak, uh, it's not original language. The original language is Sanskrit or Pali, goes back to India. That's the original one, you know. No one really recites in Sanskrit or Pali now. Everybody reciting, everybody says, I mean, well, Pali, Theravadins do recite some in Pali. But everybody is reciting in their own language, right? Japanese language, Chinese language, Tibetan language, you know, Thai also. And so I think, uh, why not in English? Uh, I don't see any logic, you know. We can recite in English when we have a good translation. It's even better for English speakers because then you understand what you're saying. Sort of. <laughs>